This image is absolutely low quality. I'm not talking about the resolution. That's fine. But it has a lot of artifacts because the quality is so low. Have a look at the image size. It is just 29 KB. So how do we get the details back? There's a feature that's going to blow your mind. All you need to do is first of all, make a copy of the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Then go to Filter and Neural Filters. Inside of that, I know a lot of people have used it and kind of it not all the time works. But in cases like this, this just works flawlessly. All you need to do is to turn on JPEG Artifacts Remover. That's it. You can set the strength according to yourself and have a look at this. This is crazy, isn't it? Take a look at the before and after. So here's the before. This was like nothing. Have a look at the eyebrows. Here's the after. Before, after. That is just crazy. You can also set the output right here to smart filter so that you can change the strength later. Hit OK. And there you have it. Let's take a look at some other areas as well. Here's the before. As you can tell, there are a ton of artifacts. Here's the after just makes it a breeze. Now, before you get too excited, there's a catch here and we'll learn how to fix that later as well. Before that, let's take a look at our second example. We'll try the same thing right here. Make a copy of the background lip. Let's go to filter and then neural filters. Again, we're going to turn on JPEG artifact removal right over here. You can set the strength. If you don't want so much of a correction, if you don't want so much of a smoothing, you can set the strength to a little lower. But these were all worst case scenarios. Now keep in mind, we're only editing worst case scenarios. You wouldn't have to deal with something like this in daily life. But still, this my friend is a massive improvement. Here's the before, here is the after. Look at the eye section, before, after. That's just crazy. It's like some of the details it is just inventing. You can also try other strength values, see how they perform, and then you can create masks for different strength values for different areas. For example, in these areas, you want the strength to be medium, and these areas, you want them to be high. So you can make a duplicate of this layer and apply different strengths in different areas accordingly. Now here, my friend, is the catch. Let's come to some practical examples. Let's say you uploaded an image to social media and you lost the original file. And the only file that you have is your compressed JPEG from social media. So how do you fix it? In this case, even if you try that method, some areas are not going to be fixed properly. Let's see. Again, we're going to make a copy by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Let's go to filter, neural filters, same thing. Let's turn on JPEG artifacts remover. Now, the good thing about this is that it processes on device. So there's no cloud stuff. So that's good news. It takes a little while for larger images. And as you can tell, this image is relatively large, 6,000 by around 4,000. So I'm calculating 23, 24 megapixels. Let's see. I'm still waiting just three two, one seconds to go. And there we go. As you can tell, it has done a pretty good job. If you zoom in right here, let's take a look at the water. Here's the before. See all those cubes? Here's the after. Before, after, all of them gone. Again, in this area, here's the before. Just like magic, it just takes them away. But if you have a look at the sky, there are still lines that you can see. Here's the before, here's the after. But if you zoom out, you can still see those lines. So how do we fix that? Now, first of all, I always recommend the output to be a smart filter so that it also already gives you a mask. Now you can create a mask right here, but it comes with a mask, so why not use it? So if there are some areas where you would want the details, you can go to the mask right here, take the brush, black as the foreground color, take a soft round brush, and you can just paint back in some of the details like these houses. Now that will also bring in those artifacts, but still, if you want to add some details here and there, you can do it right here. But how do we deal with the sky? After you have taken care of the details or the areas where you do not want the artifact removal, you can create a stamp visible layer or a merged layer of everything that you see on the canvas at the top. But before that, let's name the layers. Simply press Control, Alt, Shift and E, Command, Option, Shift and E on a Mac. And first, let's convert this layer into a smart object by going to Filter and then Convert for Smart Filters. Hit OK. And Let's name this Skyfix. Now you might think blurring might be a solution. But then again, if you just go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, and try to add a little bit of blur right here, it does fix the sky. But it also blurs these edges, which is going to be a real problem when masking. So the solution is instead surface blur. Let's go to filter, blur, and then surface blur, because it maintains the edges. Let's go click right here. First of all, let's set the threshold all the way to the right so that when you increase the radius, everything is blurred. And then we'll recover the edges later with the help of the threshold. So let's slowly and gradually increase the radius. Keep a watch in the sky. Let's give it a little headroom. Let's keep it 55, okay, or 50. 
At this level, the sky is beautifully merged. Take a look everywhere. It looks fantastic. Now it is time to recover the edges. So we will decrease the threshold slowly and gradually. As you can tell, the edges are coming back. Now you have to watch out. Do not set the threshold so low that the lines on the sky show up. So just before the lines in the sky show up, stop. So let's keep going. As you can tell, the edges are beautifully carving out. Let's keep going and we will stop just at the point where the lines start to show up. Actually, even at 10, we cannot see the lines. Let's zoom out to double check. Even 10 is fantastic. We can go lower. Yes, at 3, we begin to see the lines. Just to be safe, let's set it to 12. Hit OK. And now have a look. The sky is fixed, but at the same time, these areas are blurred. But then again, this is a beautiful painting effect. Here's the before, here's the after. Look at the serene painting. But you might not want it. So how do we keep it limited to the sky? Again, you don't have to work a lot. Just first of all, select the original image and then go to select sky. That's all. The sky will automatically be selected. Turn everything on, select the sky fix layer and simply click on the mask button. By the way, you didn't have to turn off all the layers. That was just for reference. And there you go. Here you have the sky fixed. Now, if you wish to blur more, you can always go back to surface blur, play with the threshold uh, for yourself. Let's set it to 22 if you want a little bit more smoothness. That's up to you. But this is the basic formula for it. Look at right here. <laughs> Look here. And here's the after. All of that fixed like magic. This is just beautiful. So don't ignore the JPEG artifacts removal and in positions where it cannot remove all the lines or the banding, you know what to do. Surface Blur is our solution. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting Pix Imperfect on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.